the little waving hands. Every time you get in a good space, somebody comes sending you a waving hand. You need to block you them. You implement certain things, especially these things that I'm telling you, into place. You will slowly find your way into more of who you are and away from everything that doesn't align with talking i always said i am not talking about go oh i got to be at church on sunday all right hello you guys so welcome to another video now i'm going to give like a little small disclaimer here at the top of the video um i have no intention for this video to be like preachy i have every intention for it to be kind of like you know we're going to go through some bullet points i have my notes of course but I'm very passionate about this subject, about you loving yourself, about you finding whatever space it is that you need to create to become well, to become okay. With some of the things that have happened in your life and some things that are gonna happen, I just want for us all to be able to function at our highest, okay? And with that being said, we're gonna talk about, okay, what do you do, what do I do when my heart is broken? Because what I don't want you you to do is act like it's not broken so I'm not talking to the woman who wishes to become the shell of a woman you know who who says you know I don't have a man I don't want a man I don't need a man you know he he never was nothing to me I'm not talking to that woman I'm not talking about the woman who pretends like she doesn't want so then she doesn't have we're not ta I'm not talking to you so if that's you you can just click off on this video I want to talk to the other group of women because there is enough women here on YouTube there's enough women in your real life who who will sit in that seat of you know what I I don't care no more like not acknowledging that I was hurt and then because I haven't acknowledged that I was hurt I haven't gathered the tools I haven't put together the necessary tools to get over and rebuild because I never acknowledged that I was hurt and in this video I am not saying you as a woman that you need to aspire to marriage I'm not saying that you want to aspire to motherhood I'm not saying that you have to subscribe to any of these things I'm just talking to the person who was brokenhearted and if you do desire love again it's possible okay it, it I got my heart broken two good times you hear me two good times which is why I can sit here and tell you guys how to get over a broken heart sometimes your heart was even broken for the good and as we venture closer to Valentine's Day I think every day should be a day of love but as we venture closer to Valentine's Day I know it gets hard and that's why I'm making this video okay so let's get straight into now, it. I mentioned this to a subscriber the other day the first thing you need to do is you need to identify what is it that you want out of life okay what do you want out of your life and people you remember back in the day they used to say our five-year goals our ten-year goals kind of like that but you need to even what you want tomorrow how what because things change okay your minds change what do you want out of your life and is the current relationship you're in giving you that right now we're not talking about changing anyone's mind we are not talking about changing any circumstance we're talking about right now what it is right now what this person is giving you right now does it align with what you want out of your life and like I said I got my heart broken two good times uh, the first time is a different kind of story and I don't want to talk too much about it because the person has passed away and I don't wish to say anything you know bad I don't have anything bad to say about either parties but I definitely don't want to address that situation but I will say that the next long-term situation shift entanglement that I got myself into I wanted to be married I wanted to be married and this man pushed off the idea of marriage every every single time something good happened it was like okay yeah you know you do you do what I want you to do closer to marriage you were getting closer to marriage in the moment Moment something happened like you know I just did something that the person didn't like all of a sudden it was like oh well, that's why I can't marry you no 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 when I met my now husband I remember him saying and I I think for Valentine's Day I might get him on here and us to do like a little couples thing I might it depends because I already have y'all enough in my business I don't think I want y'all that deep in my business um, but I remember him saying we got into this little debacle now we weren't dating but I also wasn't just like freely dating people right so we got into this little debacle in the walk-in because he was the executive no he was the sous chef at the time and I was just kind of like the barista or something I don't remember he was the sous chef of the kitchen and we were kind of like talking like I was interested in getting to know him more and I walked past him saying to one of the other baristas, yeah, I'm never getting married again. And I thought to myself, well, hell, why he didn't let me know that? 
And I immediately was like, okay, well, that's it. I mean, I wanted to get to know him more. You know, we did. It, I had literally just met him. And I wanted to get to know him more, but he had already had in his mind he wasn't going to get married again. And I told him, like, I sent him a text message. was like, you could have let me know that before you let this other person know that. And he was like, you know, I don't, I'm, I, this is how I feel about marriage. And maybe you might be the one to change my mind about marriage. And I told him straight up, and he will tell you to this day. I told him, I am not in the business of changing anyone's mind about me, okay? And that was it. We never really talked again until we kind of got engaged. Like I said, that's a whole different story. But I had come to a place in my life where I knew exactly what I wanted and I began to create scenarios that aligned with what I wanted. All right, and that brings me to the next thing and that is, are you, have you set in place a system, routines, habits that allow you to actively work towards the goals that you have set the things that you desire okay have you set anything in place or you just think that it's gonna fall out of the sky you think you're just gonna manifest it you think it's just kind of gonna happen no you have to set in place habits routines goals practices boundaries even that align with where you want to go and i put here the example you know you want a partner, you want one partner, and you've had five in the last five days, okay? Like, is what, what's coming out of your mouth about what you want is what you're doing aligning with that. And if it's not, you have to do something to change that. I knew that I wanted, you know, I don't wanna say a certain kind of man, I just wanted a certain kind of relationship. I wanted things to be done very conventionally unconventional if that makes any sense. I didn't want it to be like pro culture. I wanted it to be more of what God said about marriage. And I decided to follow those practices. I'm not pushing it on anyone. I'm just saying like, is what you want, is what you're doing getting you closer? Is it actively getting you closer to the things that you say that you want? All right, this is the next thing. And this is hard for people to do. It's hard for me to do. I know it's hard for you to do, it's hard. And once you've come to this place, baby, you are in the swing of change, okay? You are in the motion of changing anything. And I'm not, this is not only for relationships. This is anything, these are habits in general. Identify the way that you have failed. Man, once you have said that you have failed at something, once you can identify the way that you missed the mark that you failed, you can start anew. You can do something new. You can implement something new that doesn't allow you to fail again and I say you because I don't want to hear about what he did in the relationship or if you're a man I don't want to hear about what she did what can you do because you are the only person that's going to go into the next relationship all right it's only you we don't want we can't calculate someone else into our equation even being married being single being in a relationship we can't calculate the other people I can only calculate my actions so identify the ways in which you fail and playing right off of identifying into the ways in which you fail the next thing I would say for you to do is to create a boundary so that you don't fall again okay now this even creating boundaries is a trial and error process and I'm going to use this example getting in my business but if it'll help somebody it'll help someone I did not want to have sex before marriage I had been doing enough of it. I had enough of it. I've seen enough of those outcomes. And I said, let me go over here and try this this way, okay? And that's what I embarked to do. So it already it put up a boundary and it also sifted through the types of people that I were to entertain, okay? Because there's just some people, we're just gonna be quite honest with, they're not, they're not doing that. They're not up for it. They're not up for a challenge. I don't care how cute to boot you are. They're just not up for that challenge. And I knew for a fact that wasn't the kind of person that I wanted to be in a relationship with. And that wasn't the kind of person that I would ultimately marry. And I don't know if you guys remember, it was Steve Harvey wrote a book. So of course, this was a process for me to do. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm perfect because I'm not. This was a process to get to. Coming from, you know, if I want it, I'ma do it, to, uh, we need to change a little something here. Steve Harvey wrote a book, I think it was called The 90 Day Rule. And at first, I'm gonna be honest, I implemented that. I said, okay, 90 days. 90 days is, is a far cry from what I was doing. And that ultimately pushes me closer to my goal. Um, at the time, it was not 
having sex at all before a marriage, I can be honest, at the time wasn't a goal. But when I read this book about 90 days, I was like, okay, so there is, there's a different way of doing things. And I tried that. And ultimately I got to a place where I said, I don't need all that. I'll get to that later. Like that's still going to be there. That's going to be there. Let's focus on some other stuff. Okay. Let's, let's calculate some of these other things. And I built a boundary that way. I was able to create a boundary for myself and a boundary for other people, you know, and it worked. This next one, now y'all know, you know, if you watch any of my other videos about clients and things like that, you know how I feel about block. I will block, I will block you, okay? I will block you. And not because I wanna be mean. I block, and I think that you should block for peace, for your peace. And I'm not saying leave people on the block list for extended periods of time. I actually, like I keep keeping people on the block list for like, you know, a little while. And then I remove them from the block list, not when they can get it together. Because a lot of times, you, like I said, you can't depend on other people getting their stuff together. You, you have to be the one to sift through what it is that you can, can't handle what you want and need and all of these kind of things. A lot of times I'll take them off the block list when I know the space that I can place them in my life. Remember in my last video I did like this, I talked to you guys about my memory hotel. So I do the same thing. Pe there, everybody doesn't need to be in the exact same space in your life. I can't put my husband and my son in the same space. I can't put my boss and my clients in the same space. I can't put myself and my mama in the same place. Like you have to figure out what spaces people belong in your life. Who can you share things with? Who can you tell things to? You know, you just have to find the places. You have to create these places for people. And until you learn to do that, if, if every time you get in a good space and you're just enjoying life, and you're grateful about the spaces that you are in life and this man comes or this woman comes texting you telling some hey boo how you doing I th what was the line the line was a uh, hey hey big head um hey friend you know send Especially if every time you get in that good space, they take you from that good space and then they throw you back into the foolishness that you had to do all this work to get out of. Absolutely not. And I, I, I understand wholeheartedly about how complex these relational attachments are. But I'm telling you right now, if you implement certain things, especially these things that I'm telling you into place, you will slowly find your way into more of who you are and away from everything that doesn't align with that. All right, so once we have worked our way down the list, this is also a really big one and that's to forgive. I have had things happen to me. I know that you've had things happen to you. I have done things to other people, okay? And I, like I said last time, the biggest thing that someone can give to me is the ability to forgive me, okay? The, be the best thing that you can give to someone else is forgiveness, not just for them, but for you. Because at some time or another, you are going to either be the person who needs to forgive or the person who needs to be forgiven. So you want this thing to be an even exchange I cannot say that enough and it frees your mind it frees you to come back into a place where if love is what you desire if marriage is what you desire you can find it again you can do it again you can aim to do things the right way and create new spaces and new places new experiences for yourself but you've got to forgive you can't go over here taking the old and trying to mix it with the new the Bible describes it as placing new wine in old wine skins. You can't do it. You don't want to take, you don't want to take, even, let's take something that's simple. Let's not go all Bible crazy. Let's take something simple. When you put a new product, right? I think I was watching like a TikTok video the other day and they were mixing um, the washing powder. Like they were doing these little cute things with washing powder. The lady took the old washing powder and put it on the side and then put the new washing powder in and took and used the old washing powder. You know why? Because we don't want to mix the two of those things together. Something's a little outdated. Something is not up to the quality that it's supposed to be up to. You don't want to mix the two of these things. You want to be able to forgive you don't want to try to take the old and put it with the new if you want a new create a new and the best thing that you can do is forgive I think that I have a video that kind of helps you along in that process definitely the last video that I created 
about just creating a different space in your mind. It allows you the space to be able to forgive. And once you've forgiven you, man, it, it frees you to forgive other people, okay? Forgiveness is, I mean, it's, it is the way that you come into new. It's the way that you elevate your life. It's to forgive those who have hurt you, who've let you down and go on and create a new. And this is last, but most certainly not the least. And that is find your relationship with God, okay? And I'm not talking. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about you got to be at church on Sunday. I'm not talking about you need to be reading your Bible, you know, 23 out of the 24 hours of the day. I'm not talking about that, but just growing in relationship with God. You need to do that. You know why? Because he is the creator. And what better way to know exactly what you need, exactly what you can handle, exactly what it is that you can take, what's yours, to know what's yours, than to get to know the person that created you, to get to know how you were created, to get to know the creator. That is the best way to make great use out of the creation and that's you okay all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was nice short and sweet as always if you have a question ask a question and i want you guys to be blessed and have an amazing and thriving year and especially have an amazing valentine's day